Let's take a look at how company transactions affect the accounting equation. When a business engages in a business transaction, it will have a financial impact on the company. Let's take a look at how some basic transactions affect the accounting equation. When an owner invests 20,000 cash to start a business, the owner is giving cash to the business to get it started. Remember the basic accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus equity. The business received $20,000 cash. Cash is an asset. The company would need to record an increase to their cash asset account. In order for this equation to remain in balance, something else has to happen. Assets, the left side of the equation increased, so something else needs to change as well. 20,000 cash was given to the business by the owner. The owner has invested into the business. We will keep track of the amount of owner investments in the owner's capital account. It's an equity account. Because the owner now has more equity in the business after investing, owner's capital will increase $20,000. After this transaction is recorded into the accounting system, Total assets will be $20,000. Total liabilities plus equity, $20,000. Note that as of this very first business transaction, the only asset the company or the business has is cash, and the only liability and equity balance is in owner's capital of $20,000. The next thing that happened was the business purchased supplies with $1,000 in cash. Before this transaction occurred, the company had $20,000 in a cash asset, and it had $20,000 in owner's capital. When the business bought supplies with $1,000 in cash, we know that cash must have decreased because the company used cash to purchase supplies. Thus, we would need to record into the accounting system a decrease to cash because cash was used, decreasing 1,000, bringing the balance in the cash account down to 19,000. The reason cash went down is because supplies were purchased. If the company bought supplies, they are buying an asset because the company will use those supplies to help them operate. It is a resource that they own. They now have more supplies. They will need to increase the account keeping track of their supplies asset amount. Increasing it a thousand. After this transaction is recorded into the accounting system, total cash, total supplies, total assets are $20,000. Total liabilities and total equity, 20,000. The equation is still in balance. Notice that in this transaction, we did not affect both sides of the equation, but it's okay. It stayed in balance. We increased and decreased all on the same side of the equation. The next transaction the company engaged in is they purchased equipment and paid $15,000 in cash. We know that cash must have decreased because they paid cash. Cash is an asset. We will decrease cash 15,000, bringing the total amount of cash down to 4,000. Supplies were unaffected, but equipment increased. They now have more equipment. We will increase the equipment. Adding up all of our assets, there's still 20,000. We did not change anything on the right side of the equation. Total liabilities and equity, still 20,000. Equation remains in balance. Next, the company purchased $200 of supplies and equipment of $1,000 on account. That means they bought supplies and equipment, but they haven't paid for it. They bought it on account. They bought more supplies, increasing the supplies to $1,200. They bought more equipment, increasing the amount of equipment up to $16,000. Total assets are now $21,200. Something else has to change to keep the equation in balance. If they bought these assets on account, it means they now have an increase to their liabilities. They owe somebody for this purchase. We will keep track of normal day-to-day -day liabilities for normal day-to-day -day purchases 
in a liability account titled accounts payable. We have more liabilities. We are increasing accounts payable by 1200, bringing our liability accounts payable up to 1200. Total liabilities and equity are 21,200. Equation is in balance. Total assets equal total liabilities plus equity. Next, the company borrowed cash from the bank. When a company borrows cash from the bank, they will have to sign a promissory note stating they will pay back the amounts they borrowed plus interest. Cash went up because cash was borrowed, increasing cash to 8,000. Liabilities are also going up because they now owe for this borrowing. They have a liability to pay it back. We will keep track of liabilities that involve a promissory note and the payment of interest in notes payable. Accounts payable is used for liabilities in the normal day-to-day -day purchases on general credit. Notes payable is used for liabilities that involve a promissory note and interest. Total assets equal total liabilities. We're in balance. Okay, the next transaction. And before we get into it, please note that these beginning balances were carried forward from a pri the prior slide. Um, there was just getting to be too many transactions. So these are the balances brought forward. And these balances summarize all of the transactions that we previously discussed. Now the client was provided a consulting services of $3,000 and payment was received by the business immediately. If the customer paid the business, the customer's cash has gone up, increasing cash up to 11,000. If the company provided a service to a customer, they have earned a revenue, they've made a sale. We record the revenues as soon as they are earned. So we will record an increase to the revenues, which is an equity account, bringing the total revenues earned up to 3,000, adding up liabilities and equity, total is 28,2. We are still in balance. Next, employee salaries of $800 are paid. Salaries for a business are an expense. They're a cost of doing their business. They're a cost of earning revenues. Employees earn salaries and they were paid. The company's cash had to have decreased if it was paid, bringing cash down to 10,200. And expenses increased. The company incurred a cost, $800. Notice that these brackets here make it look like we are decreasing expenses. We are not decreasing expenses. What we are doing is increasing the amount of expenses. Remember that costs or expenses cause overall equity to go down. Thus, more expenses have been recorded, causing equity to go down $800. Adding up total assets, $27,400. Liabilities, liabilities plus equity equals $27,400. We're in balance. Okay, finally, the owner withdraws $500 from the business. The owner is taking out some of their equity. $500, cash is withdrawn. Cash is decreasing 500. Total assets are now down to 26.9. Owner has drawn on his or her equity, meaning the amount of drawings has increased. Drawings has gone up to $500, but recall that as the owner withdraws equity from the business, it causes overall equity to go down. Owner investments increase, owner drawings decrease equity, revenues earned increase, and expenses incurred decrease equity. Total liabilities and equity, 26.9. The accounting equation has remained in balance. The key here is to remember, anytime a business incurs or engages in a transaction, we will always affect at least two accounts. It's the only way the accounting equation will stay in balance.